uh, this uh, symposium is organized uh, by the Trauma Committee of CICOT in cooperation with ARTOF. Now, the Trauma Committee of uh, CICOT is uh, one of the standing uh, committees of CICOT. Our goal is to improve the knowledge of the orthopedic surgeons in trauma care and create worldwide uh, standards, valid standards in trauma care, pre-hospital care, hospital care, and aftercare as well. ARTOF is an affiliated society of Tusikot, Association for Rational Treatment of Fractures. The goal of this society is the logical access to fracture treatment with the best possible and safe optimal treatment result. Uh, this association has been founded by Professor Sarmiento, president for years, followed by James Waddell, who is chairman by this session as well, coming from Toronto. Uh, how is the committee, the trauma committee acting, sorry? Uh, at first, through opinion polls, uh, questioning the uh, national delegates of CICOT to create basic standards, to find out what is going on in the world, and you will not believe how big differences are in trauma treatment in the world. Then to make comparison with the treatment standards in developed countries, showing the difference in different fields. Then we are repeating the polls, searching for steps of development, what is an international acceptable world standard in the best interest of the injured. And then we are creating, organ organizing, uh, and supporting courses, congresses, educational courses of CICOT or international or national congresses based on invitation and local needs. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, road uh, traffic injuries, accidents are worldwide increasing, whereas the national healthcare resources are decreasing. How can we counteract uh, this development? Through knowledge, valid, princi valid principles, surgical skills, innovation, improvisation, cleverness, but on the other hand, very important are valid international comparisons. N uh, namely, some politicians believe in the increasing quality of health care as one important expression of general progress. The number is not very high, but they are existing. How can you become a member of the trauma committee? Uh, the nomination, nomination process follows a proposal from the national delegate or a member of the committee can uh, um, invite somebody or officer of the CICOT. And then um, uh, during uh, our sessions, uh, we are discussing between the committee members and we are voting. The de decision is acceptance if the de decision is positive. The time being uh, is uh, the number of uh, members limited with uh, 25, a re-election is possible. Uh, they are the current members. I am chairing this committee, and as you can see, uh, all over the world are members included, coming from Nigeria to Denmark, Belarusia, or Germany, or Austria, or Hong Kong. Um, we are organizing an all secret meetings, special trauma devoted sessions every year, so in Prague, in these two days, 6th and 7th of September, uh, in four sessions. And this is the first symposium, Fractures Around the Knee, uh, with experts. Uh, the next will be uh, to the afternoon, distal femoral fractures combined with free papers in meeting hall five, if you have interest to go there from 1630 to 1730. Then, how, how often are these injuries? And I have taken two numbers from our department in Vienna. Uh, in 10 year period, you can expect if you have around 50,000 fresh injured each year, 200 supra, uh, supradiacondylar fracture, it means distal femoral fractures. And if you are looking to the kind of the fractures, they are more or less constant. 
So the distal femoral fractures around 30, uh, 35 percent. The, supra, the exclusive supracandular fracture without joint involvement around 30 percent. And the destroyment of the joint surface is to be expected by 20 percent. So it is a high number if you have uh, uh, the uh, number of and kind of patients. The session three is devoted to patella, which will be held on the 17th of September, on Wednesday, 10.30 to 12 o'clock in meeting hall one. And the last part will be section four on proximal tibia on uh, Wednesday uh, from 1400 to 1530 in meeting hall uh, one as well. So coming to the problem, what is new today in these fractures around the knee? Uh, the x-rays are not enough anymore. Nobody would um, expect that the joint surface of the tibia is in such way destroyed as you can see in the CT scan. So we should extend the diagnostics, that's the first message. The second is that we should look to the committing vascular injuries Primarily, you can see here the injury of the artery popliteia very nicely in a CT angiography. So, <clears throat> what about the treatment options? We are using screws and plates, or double plates, or external fixator, or whatever, and we are discussing around ORIF and MIPO, we are asking ourselves of, uh, if our former access to these injuries uh, was correct with this extensive uh, uh, open reduction and devascularization of the tissues, because this makes a wound enormously dangerous and um, infection is very often the sequelae after such big accesses. Are the less, less invasive stabilization systems better? Is MIPO better? That will be uh, discussed in uh, the course of this uh, symposium. Now, what is the sense behind? I think we should force you to deal with such injuries. And uh, that is only one case what I want to show you, and I am then finishing. The fracture is extensive. Uh, the soft tissues are ruptured. The biceps tendon is ruptured. Uh, the patella tendon is ruptured. We have a partial rupture of the posterior cruciate, and we have a destruction injury uh, to the pace anserinus as well. So, Uninjured is only the arteria popliteia and the nervus peroneus communis. And that's the x-ray to this case. And of course we are clearly on the border, perhaps to amputation. Can we, can we reconstruct this joint? Yes, we can, following Obama, yes we can. But that's the local situation. If we are dealing with the diligence what is needed to these soft tissues. Using a minimal osteosynthesis, secure the entire problem by external fixator. Fasciotomy is needed, which is very important in connection with these injuries. You can see here the different fragments fixed by 6.5 cancillo screw, by uh, key wire and by a uh, uh, semi-tubular plate, and that's the result of the first osteosynthesis. Then the wire has been removed. After six weeks, a donjoy, um, um, a donjoy instrument has been used for eight weeks more. A brace. And that's the result after four years. I think with 
uh, this case, I haven't show, shown you why the discussion around the knee uh, and the fractures is so important. I thank you for your kind attention. I hope you can uh, get us a little bit inside what the drama com uh, committee uh, uh, does and will do. And I invite now uh, Professor Waddell uh, to his uh, lecture, uh, the periprosthetic uh, fra uh, fractures around the knee. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um